Previously on Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. I love metaphors! And now back to staring at people! Hello! This is Sneako B, back with some more Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. When you last left off, it was revealed that it wasn't really ours after all, it was Dahlia, which I think we all kind of saw coming, but oh my god, and she's fucking back from the dead to continue doing her evil things. Just. <laughs> Because bitches never die, baby. I, like, oh my god. I, and honestly, now I think about it, it is going to be kind of weird. I don't know how we're really going to, like, punish her. I can't really, I mean, she's already dead. Like, she kind of says, like, what are you going to do, bitch? <laughs> well, we're going to we're gonna channel you, and then we're going to kill the person that's channeling you. But then you kill the person that's channeling them. Fuck them. We don't like them anyway. <laughs> like, what are we going to do exactly? Can we put them in, like, a genie bottle or something? You know, like the end of Aladdin. <laughs> uh... Oh, and of course, we went through another case of total bullshit, which I knew, I fucking knew it, but, it, like, a whole bunch of you guys were like, Nico, you're stupid, it takes total sense, blue, 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 which I fucking knew, I knew a lot of you would do that, because you did the same thing when the cape, when the cape thing happened, and I called bullshit on that. I don't know, I think people just like to do that, but it's just like, it's just like, well, I can see how it is, obviously, you're fucking stupid, Nico, so you should understand, too. it's like, Okay, look, listen, I'm not saying it's, like, entirely impossible, it's just very fucking unlikely, and, I mean, I get that this is, like, I'm supposed to have a suspension of disbelief, I mean, hell, I'm not, like, calling shit on, like, the, uh, channeling of, like, dead people, you know, you don't see me going, oh, that's fucking bullshit, you know, but when the game brings up something that's intended to be logical, and you're supposed to logically figure it out, it's like, I'm obviously gonna go, oh, Hey, this, to me, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think it's kind of bullshit, you know? If that's actually, like, a part of the puzzle in the game, you know? And it's not, like, some joke, you know? And so, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not trying to shit on the game by being, like, by saying, hey, I thought that was stupid. But, I mean, I just didn't think it was that great of a inclusion. I wish they had come up with something that stretched the truth a little it stretched reality a little less. I mean, oh, also, by the way, I, I laughed a few of you were, like, 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 I'm sorry, do you have a major in physics, Nico, to know this shit? Or, well, actually, no, you mentioned it. I actually do have a physics major, so, yeah, I do know, I'm not, like, a fucking expert, but I do know how certain, how objects tend to move. Uh, anyway, the, the point is, the pendulum thing is just a big fucking stretch. Just like how the other cape thing was also a big fucking stretch. We're just gonna fucking roll with it. We're at 10th, 106 p.m., this core corner number seven! Did we switch courtrooms or no? This is the one we were in, wasn't it? All right, everyone, we're back. Nico, let's talk more about that pendulum. Shut up, Judge. No, let's not talk about it. All right, fine. Now let's continue where we left off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went to go. I went to go take a dump. What, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. It turns out Iris is actually Dahlia. She's an evil demon from hell, and she's coming to kill us all. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm all caught up now. All right. Well, what is? How are you doing? Uh, yes. How can I help you, Mr. Judge? <laughs> I don't know, something about that expression, just that look is like, eh, like, I just, I, I, I don't know, I sort of hate it, but I also kind of love it, <laughs> it just looks so fucking disgusted, so pissed. Well, it seems that we are here, to, we're, we're to learn the truth. We'll need to hear your testimony, tell us about how evil you are. I have no problem with that. Like, uh, one of you guys pointed out, uh, that, and I have to realize to agree with, it seems like, Dolly really could get away with a lot of these things if she just would shut her fucking mouth, but it seems like she can't keep her shit together, like, at the end. Like, if she could just keep her facade going a little longer, and no, but she's gotta be like, Okay, you know what, you got me, I'm actually Dolly, or I'm evil, or whatever. They, she did that in the first case with Mia, too. She, like, just because she, if she just kept her mouth shut, then, like, Andrewworth would have won this case, but no, you had to go and fuck around, bitch. But when you see see what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. Ugh, fucking disgusting look on your face. So evil. Pure evil. Pure sexy evil. In any case, let's hear your testimony. Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. The plan. The whole plan began with my death. A stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fane and st stole our own daughter as the next master. For it to work. My they would have first have to die. The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have, have blame the blame on Iris. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So that means you really are. Hold it! 
Wait a doodle second. Did you just say the plan was to kill my F.A.? Yes, you have a problem with that? Yeah, you suck. Also, you broke my heart. I don't care. Actually, I just realized a lot of that, what she told me then, uh, at the, uh, uh, the inner temple when he was like, you know, she did a college student, what did she say about him? She's like, oh, he hit his guts. That was actually her saying it to him, so she, she knew damn well what she was saying. Don't give us that nonsense, there's no way that... Watch yourself to write... Dude, why are you even defending her? She ki killed your punk ass. Oh yeah, well, whatever. Eh, well, it wasn't enough to keep me down. If you got a problem, solve it during cross-examination. That's my rule. Josh Carl's correct, by the way. That's my rule as well, you little fuck. I care about with it first. To kill my could it be fucking true. But I think he's in. she's in mine now. That's what, I hope we get some clarification, because, like, whose body is she in right now? I feel like it could only be Maya, if, if it's not Iris. Okay, the whole plan began with my death. I'm gonna press her probably on all of these. Just you were executed last month, correct? Yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could have been there for that. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Die, demon lord! How'd you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Fay? Yeah. Last year, she was transferred to the same detention center as me. Oh, mm, I called that shit. I fucking called that shit. I knew it. I knew that there was something like. They both went to prison. I was like, I bet there's a point where they collaborated together. Mmm. Yes. At least that, at least that was right. <laughs> there was like a whole shit ton of other things I was wrong on, but that one thing was right. <laughs> so was in death row. She was my mother. It's actually pretty easy to meet with her. I see. So that's when you discuss the plan. <laughs> Are you crazy? Hey, you can't. Hey, you can't do that. I do that. <laughs> that's my thing. Ha. 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 I do it better. Stop it. Are you crazy? At first, that woman was planning to kill me as well. Oh, wow, really? Damn, this is like. All these fucking girls are crazy! Cause me cray cray! Even though I'm her own daughter. Mm. Well, to make Pearl pay the master of the crap. Wow, she really loved you, Pearl. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. It's a cold, twisted woman. <laughs> Takes one to know one. She thought she could finally. She could finally regain her lost honor. The honor she lost when her younger sister Missy took her place as the master. Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. Mm, a plan, huh? The stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fade and st stole her own daughter as the next master. You're talking about Pearl Fay, is that correct? Yes, though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. <laughs> then she realized we're about too fucking crazy to be the master. Sorry, but we need someone a little less bloodthirsty. <laughs> That's why I'm no good for it either. You and your twin sister Iris. Th That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us have much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her, along with her father. Abandoned? I see. She she did. She fucking lied about that when she said that the father left. It was really Morgan that abandoned her, the father, isn't it? I feel, and that makes more sense to me, because she just seemed like the, the type of person that would be someone left left her behind and she's like the mourning widow or whatever. She's the she's the fucking psycho who's like, Fuck this guy and your, your stupid daughter's gonna have any fucking power! Where's your demon power? <laughs> the only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. My sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at an old temple. You mean Iris? Yes, my father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go round right. Oh my god. You are some kind of fucking crazy. You are some kind of evil. You are pure fucking evil. Seriously. God. Top of that, my father has absolutely no interest in children in general. I, I, I'm getting this feeling. Like, I really want Phoenix to just fucking like just crucify this bitch. Just because I want It's like almost like payback. You know how she used him and I want to see him like fucking just destroy her. I mean, that's just like, that's fucking karma. It's payback. How, how horrible. The horrible one was that woman. The bitter, vengeful woman. So why did you agree to do this anyway? Because I like murdering things. It's your stubbornness that gave birth to that child. Pearl Bay. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power. Unfortunately for her. I got just full of it. She stores it all on her big round head. Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams on that poor child's back. All because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. But for it to work, Maya Faye would first have to die. 
Mmm. I would have to die. Woo why? Her blood line is seized on me family. That's making Pearl the new master. The remaining descendants of the current master are to be taken care of. Her pearls would never do a blend like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? But Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. Oh my god. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master, that's all. Oh my god. That's so horrible. Poor Pearl. That's ridiculous. I'm surprised Pearl even, like, didn't end up being fucked up. <laughs> I guess Morgan probably treated her nice for that, but just for that reason, not because she actually loved her. She's willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. The life of her, do her daughter, and naturally the life of my fae as well. How could anyone do that? The idea was for me to kill Maya and then have blame the pin on Iris. You, you, you were going to kill Maya! Pearl didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Then I would have simply used her body and finished the job. In any case, I'm already dead and there's nothing any of you can fucking do to me. <laughs> I don't know. Can we get like a priest or something in here and throw holy water on you? <laughs> the power of Christ compels you, bitch! <laughs> ah! Oh god, it fucking burst! That's right! <laughs> ah! Grr! So the plan was to blame the crime on your younger sister, a sister Iris of Azakura Temple. She had looked absolutely identical, no one could tell us apart. If someone were to witness me killing Maya, naturally they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the, win and the witness in this case was the head nun sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Azakura Temple that night, but she would wound up seeing Iris' crime anyway. Why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? She's your twin sister, isn't she? Ugh, ugh. <coughs> Twin sister, don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. Okay. Okay, so that does actually sound like. So okay, she that sounds like it was true then when she said that Iris had like betrayed her. Okay. Backstabber. You just don't understand. You never will. Anyway. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. You think the plan was a success? You heard me. This is the moment it hoped. My fae is fucking dead. Now the title of the, the master will pass on to Pearl Fae. So... What? If she's really dead, then... Well, then who are you? Uh, whose body are you in right now? Is it someone we've never met before? Objection! That's absurd! My is just... She's just trapped, trapped inside the sacred cavern. Ugh, ugh. Really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you? My darling Feeny. <laughs> Fuck you! Ugh. Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we met, I've despised you. You sni your sniveling naivet and your pathetic faith in other people. <laughs> oh yeah, well, you suck! I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Vay's plan? Ugh. I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. I had no point, no value other than filling her own greedy desires. Yes, it was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Yeah, this is what I want to know. Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand it being the kind of gentle soul that you are. You may not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me why! Tell me why you are fucking psycho! Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was for myself. For my own personal satisfaction. What did you say? So this woman, Dolly Hawthorne, she had her own reason for wanting Maya dead. Do you understand why I would kill my fae now? What my goal was? Uh... I'm guessing I'm probably to present something here. Why would she kill my fae? Oh, for me a fae. Yeah, I knew it. Could it be that your actual goal had nothing to do with my fae herself? Ugh. <laughs> As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. Because I'm already dead. 
Well, I have the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead, and you can't take revenge against them either. You want to take revenge on someone? I've since to die because of that woman, Mia Fey. I somehow knew this was it. I wanted to send her a message. I was, it was at her hands that I suffered with that hurt, my first humiliation. I wanted to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up. And the reason it was impossible was it perhaps because Mia Fey had already died. Yes, and I realized there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. And how do you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. Forever. I wanted to take that per the person that Mia Le Fey loves most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be the one and only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fey. That was the reason I wanted to help with that woman's plans. <sighs> so, okay. I, I'm... The thing is, I, I'm surprised no one sort of brought up as just the, whose body could she be in. Maybe it's maybe it's not anyone we even know. Maybe it's just some random. I mean, I don't know. Was anyone else at the temple? Like just other acolytes? Just for that, for that you would kill Maya. Your goal is no different than that of Morgan Bay. As they say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Fuck me. Fucking crazy apple doesn't fall from the fucking. Homicidal tree! <laughs> just imagine a homicidal tree. Rawr, just like smacking the branch, like, ah, stop it! Oh god, this tree's so angry, stop it! What a cruel plan, cruel, cold, and heartless. God damn! I wanna. I almost wanna murder your ass again. Can we, Rick? I wanna put you back in your body and hang you again! Huh! Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I've already told you there's not a thing you can do to me. Sir, sure, not hell? Because I feel like you should be burning in the deepest bowels of it! I don't know. I feel like or, when you when you get out of the body, is that where you go? Cause that would make me feel a lot better. <laughs> Grr. That night. About 9:30 p.m., I materialized in this world. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warning hood. Then I picked up the staff that was by my side and I left Hasakura Temple. So it was at least doing on channel. It was at least doing on channel after all. Oh, that's who, what? I, I didn't even think about her because it was like, well, she's the one getting fucking killed, so. Oh, wow. Why? Well, I guess to, to save Maya, because she had, she had an idea of the plan, right? She knew what the, she, she, I'm guessing she was the one that read the letter. So at least, at least Dunham channeled it. So. Okay, I guess then, so then she must have taken the knife and stabbed herself or something? But then whose body is she in now then, right? She's definitely in a different body. <laughs> I don't think we, I don't think she's in Lee's Doom's dead body. That ridiculous head in London never noticed a thing. Ah! She left my faith in her temple. The wobble clutching her poor old back. Oh my goodness! Wow, you really are a bitch! <laughs> what? Why did you do that? It was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Aww. <laughs> oh god, you're gonna fucking try to kill me, are you? Put up my arm, just a goober! Then I took out the dagger I got from the stone room, man. Oh god! So that then you... You're saying you... Stab Maya? It's strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory. I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed? At that last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me, I'm sure. That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a, a plastic fork. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm just too fucking giving There's no way Maya would stab anything. <laughs> Try it, hold it back, Phoenix! <laughs> anyway, I suddenly lost my consciousness. Before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I can't believe she was thinking of that up until the bitter end. So my memory temporarily stops. Stops? Ugh. 
I don't have any memory of the actually killing mine with my own two hands. Okay, well, that means she's fucking alive. All right, so... Fuck you. Fuck you, Dahlia Doodle. Demon Dahlia. My very last memory was... Maya's tear-filled eyes. But when I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern? The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. Oh. That, there was that one of my... Plan. Okay, I am like all, I was all wrong about a lot of this here. But you're st is she still in Elise student's body then? No, she she probably got called by Ah, okay, I just, I just keep going. But how did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not my fate was dead. I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I'd killed her myself. <laughs> ah, you are in the underworld. You're down you are down in the deepest bowels. Ah, that's that's good, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Hmm. For a ghost, you're one tough cookie. <laughs> you just don't know when to die, do you? I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So you're saying you were actually hiding against the will inside the sacred cavern? Maybe it was... Okay, so maybe that was Iris, then. Yes, I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? It was early in the morning. Someone came into the training hall. Oh. What? Who? Pearl? Could have been. Oh, Maya? No. It's probably Pearl. Ugh. I thought the same thing. But I couldn't see. Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself as well. As well at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gotten into the training hall. My and Pearls. Well, Pearl threw gravy on the thing, right? Did she do that before or after she tried to channel her spirit? Pearls went there, yeah, cover the hanging scroll and gravy. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah. So if I managed to remove the lock, but I was too late. What do you mean by that? But the flies had already started to gather. Oh. The bridge had been fixed and the police had started their investigation, correct? Natural can go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the bat lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse site help. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? Yep. With that big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. I, uh... The real Iris. Okay, this, yeah. I knew, okay, so this, this at least part was right. She, she was the one, at least, in locked up in there, and she switched places with her. She said she'd come up to make sure the sacred cavern was all right, stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cavern and got a, free, got a feel for the situation. And I locked her away in my place. I finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan has succeeded? I misunderstood one thing you see. That night, the one that summoned me. I assumed that it was Pearl Fay. Well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the next in the instructions. But I was wrong. The person that had actually called my spirit back was Yeah. Misty Fay, the picture book author. What what? It was funny how funny how Phoenix had already figured that out by then. <laughs> You're just too slow, Nico. I guess so. It's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden, it was her body that was left lying there. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> my fate. I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human could commit. That is. Oh, so she's saying that she got her got her to kill Misty. That is. Major side. Instead of killing your own mother. Uh No way! Damn it, Maya. Looks like you're going to jail for like the 18th time. Or oh, out of the car. What is the meaning of this? It's true that I was the one who attacked my Faye. But even so, the murderer who actually snuffed out Misty Faye's life was none other than your darling little Maya. Ridiculous. That's nonsense. Are you sure about that? Just think about it. 
there's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? What do you mean? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that my face disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Huh? The idea that she's still in the same cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the inner temple, that much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place she could be. It is, it is her. Standing right in front of us. What, where? Do I have to spill it out? The bottom of the Eagle River, where else? Oh, okay, not what I was thinking. <laughs> e Eagle River. My big killed her long lost mother. Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? That's why she threw herself in the Eagle River. But first she used the pendulum method. <laughs> But she tried, she tried to, she actually, this was actually Maya trying to fling herself across the bridge using the pendulum method, but it didn't work for her, because guess what? It's still fucking bullshit. <laughs> She's like, wow, this really was a stupid idea! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I can imagine Maya doing that. Those bodies that wind up in there are lost forever. Or, or unless you're just like me and, or yeah, like me and you, when we were to like, totally fucking fine. <laughs> so what do you see now, Feeny? Uh, suck my balls? Oh, uh... What? Ugh! Who's... Kind of, who's ringtone is that? Uh, is that me? Uh, oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, that's my phone. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it, actually, it actually was me! I, I thought for sure that was going to be Phoenix. Oopsie doodle. My bad. What kind of ringtone is that? <laughs> it's bumming me out, dude. Beep. Gotta, gotta here. It's probably about the dagger. Okay, thanks. Beep. Something important? They just finished removing the locks from the sacred cavern. Oh, all right. That's great. What about Maya? There was a woman in the cave. What about Maya Faye? It was the accused, Sister Iris. Oh. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday and just got finished telling you that, you stupid idiot! So, what about Maya? Where is she? I don't know, I don't know why they're just not thinking, I mean, by the process of elimination, who could, I mean, I mean, just be thinking, who is standing in front of us right now? If it's not, if it, what, if it's not Maya, you know, it's like, there was no one else found inside the secret cavern. Nope, it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No. No! Dead. It seems that this case has come to an end. A tragic shit end. Way to go, Nico. You fucked up. You got the bad ending. Fuck you. I can do it. The end. Sally Pierce killer. At least you know also known as Misty Faye. Eh. Was her own daughter, Maya Faye. I know I fucking did somewhere. I've come with guilt for what she had done. Maya Faye jumped to her death in the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. Ha! Ha! Oh, silly, silly Phoenix. Hmm. Dried. Have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. What is that supposed to mean, Prosecutor Gatto? I don't know. I'm reading out of my book of silly metaphors and proverbs. According to this witness, my faith threw herself in Eagle River. However, is that really the truth? Remember this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire when the murder was taking place in the garden, which means that Maya had thrown herself into the river. It must have been from the inner temple side near the bridge. That's right, that's where she jumped from. Uh uh uh. I don't think, but that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into the river from there. Wh what? Don't get your panties all twisted up, Trite. Just relax and you can think through the whole thing again. So it's impossible. Maya couldn't have done it on Eagle River. Well, right. Uh, wait, something with the map here, maybe? Oh, I see. Yeah, he's right, because look. 
is all that land around the side. I'm just crashing into this, the bedrock below, and that's not a good way to go! Well, Mr. Wright, Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Faith threw his own Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. Do you have any evidence that refutes this claim? I totally do. Miss Hawthorne jumped Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness. What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped in the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the on the internal side is a big rock shelf. Oh! Oh! Right! She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, she had jumped! She wouldn't have been able to see her body in this photo! Ha! Ah. I got your back on that one. <laughs> ha! So you finally figured it out! You. No! <laughs> oh, order! Order! You. You're just playing with me. My face body's at the bottom of the Eagle River. There's nowhere else you could possibly be hiding. Oh, does she not. She doesn't even realize it either, does she? She doesn't realize it either. That she. She is. She's inside of Dot Maya's body. Okay, she is. It's just that she doesn't realize whose body she's been channeled into. Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you learn the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. Yes, a few minutes ago. <laughs> My bet wasn't inside the sacred cavern. We know that she didn't throw herself into the river. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. What? What? What is this one possibility you're talking about? Th that's obviously bluffed. So where's her dead body then? Finally, I think the pieces are falling into bad place. <laughs> I honestly don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. <laughs> I feel like Nika. Alright, I feel like I. This time I feel like I was 10 steps to the head of the game here. I was just like, who's fuck standing in front of us? That's like one of my first questions I'd have. Normally the living have no way to punish the dead. And there's a way to give Dolly Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Ms. Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya is this very instant? My bay is! In this very courtroom! There's only one possibility. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? My is here. You say she's here in my courtroom? Where? <coughs> she's under my desk? Where? Where are you, little weirdo? <laughs> Dolly Hawthorne, I didn't recall that you said. I have misunderstood one thing you see. So what? Well, I think there's a one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is shilling Dolly Hawthorne? Well, why that? That's obvious. It's Pearl Fay, that pathetic little sniveling runt. Okay, so she she thought it was her. That is wrong. You're wrong. Real stride, but she couldn't do it. Also, she's right there in the audience. She's waving you right now. Hi there. What the balls? <laughs> I've never failed to challenge someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there an explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? It could happen if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. Someone called me before Pearl did? But who? Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clear to you right about now, am I correct? Ah! Oh! It wasn't Pearl's that channeled you! There was someone who called you before she could. Really? I gotta clarify this too? Maya! That's an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it. And Misty Bay is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already! I can't stand this danger! Oh! Oh my god, tell me! Really, Judge? Really? I have to spell it out for you? Yes, because I don't know how to spell. I don't know what's going happening on. Where am I? Jolly Hawthorne! The person channeling you right now must be... Maya Bay! What? What? <laughs> you failed! But, but how could that be? Remember what this way Dolly Hawthorne said about her goal? She said that her goal was to kill Maya Faye. That's right! But if I channel the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her... Ha! Well, Gramps, what would happen? Uh, uh, could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't! What are you going on about? What I'm going on is about the reason why there's a reason Mile channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that little, that crafty little goober. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I 
truly fucking cold. Oh my god, I'm so awesome. I'm so awesome, Phoenix. But how did she know the channel Dahlia and not Iris? <laughs> you know, wouldn't you have seen that was Iris? Or was Dahlia like, I'm Dahlia Hawthorne, I'm here to kill you, blah, 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 blah. To protect herself from me. Oh, that's not another crime. You were the only one interested in, you were only interested in one thing. I mean, funny, and then she's like, oh, okay, well, then she goes and snaps her neck. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Maybe we should have restrained her before you told her that. <laughs> Killing my MA! The path to the inner temple was closed off and there was nowhere to run. So then the problem became, where would the other place to hide? Ah! You, you mean, that's when she channeled me? How long you thought you had been channeled by pearls? That's why it never occurred to you. The Mai's hiding place was you. No, no, don't say that. Oh, oh man. You're saying that I was played for a fool by that little well. Oh, yes. Oh, sweet fucking justice. Sweet. Oh, look how fun. She's so, look how angry she looks. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. Mike killed herself, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Sorry, but no. I would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. This was the only avenue of escape to open to Maya. The only way that Maya could disappear from the Inner Temple. I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who's never been out in the real world. She could never have been planning to come up with a plan like that. Who could ever have given her such a brilliant idea? Well, uh... Me! Me, of course! Oh! Motherfucking me, eh? Ah, yes! Oh, this is even better. Now she's gonna show up for rubber boobs right in Odalia's stupid face. Ah! Mia! Mia Faye! Oh my... It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. God, you are... <laughs> you are looking super pissed. Uh, God was like, oh my God, it's my sexy sweet lover back from the dead. Hey, baby, you like white hair? Because I got it now. And hope you like superpowers, because I got that too. So it's true. It was you. Yes. Ha! You're something else. <laughs> something that I, mean, I was always gonna call her kitten again. Something else, kitten. <laughs> but what are you doing here? In here. It's pearls, right? <laughs> Stop it. Ah, uh, still find it weird though. <laughs> Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to the night of one more time. Uh, hi there. Hi there, Iris. How are you? Look so evil. Why are you holding a dagger at me? <laughs> Discord Maya in the inner temple's garden, and then, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. Ow! Oh, stab on Maya Fay! Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did. Not terrorist Riley, she's about to be fucking killed! When she woke up, she was in the training hall. And that's when Maya decided she needed help. So she channeled me. Ah. Uh. She explained in a memo the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought she, could, she should do. She did that? I, I can't believe it! Of course, I didn't have all the details, but one thing was perfectly clear. That was? I knew that you couldn't get allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Ah. Uh. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible. I'd lock herself in the sacred cavern until help her out. <laughs> like, my like, what the hell? I don't know. It's really fucking cold in there. How are they going to do that? Just do it, Maya. Damn it. <laughs> it's just P.S. Just fucking do it. <laughs> uh. I didn't think it was kind of like, I'm like, damn, that doesn't seem like, like a pretty complex plan for Maya to come up with. Let's be honest. Maya's just kind of a fucking goop head. <laughs> Look at her eyes looking two different directions right now. Oh, it was Maya by that lock on there. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it, Dolly Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Pearl Pervé. Pearls? Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan, so all she was trying to do was follow her mother, Morgan Faye's instructions. Yeah. Smart Mia Faye. Mia, yeah, Mia is definitely one of the smartest people in this game. Like, she had succeeded in chilling Dolly Hawthorne's spirit. Things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Dolly Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Faye to kill Maya at all costs. Yes, certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you? I will forget this. 
Let us admit it, Dolly Hawthorne. Your little plan was nothing but a big fucking failure. You failed. Yes, another failure to add to the pile of shame. Wouldn't, would, wouldn't you say? Uh, what? What? What do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? How often have you fucked up? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you? Eleven years ago. The fake kidnapping. Your very first crime. You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and went to meet with Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. Shut your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid oath of the prisoner and that weakling of a policewoman! And then one year later, you try to kill me! Well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else! As a result, you are sentenced to death! To fucking death! Blah, blah. Stop making that noise! <laughs> it's one stupid move after another for you, but it's no longer funny. You wipe that smug, happy go looking smile off your face! And now this! You messed up again! You let my face escape! Even though she was right there in front of your stupid bitch face! I'm Mia Fey. Mia Fey. Mia Fey. Mia Fey. Do you, you, Spencer? I was supposed to kill Mia Fey like I swore I would. If only you hadn't gotten the spiky-haired jerk of a guilty verdict, I would have been hanged. Would have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will, will never defeat me. What? What? What did you say? But they're alive, dead, or somewhere in between. You will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all eternity. Ah! 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 I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you. Because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit of the ego lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. Ah! For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne, a miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win at anything. And for you, and for you, there is no escape from that, no hope of freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you is now has been burnt to a crisp. You, ah, you're, you're wrong. It can't be. How could I lose to the lips of Bill? <laughs> what? Oh, she's a power it up. <laughs> it no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. <laughs> Demon power. Fuck off, bitch! Go back to hell where you belong. Oh my god. I'm not ready. Not ready to go. <laughs> what the balls? Whoa. Hey, Maya. <laughs> there she is. Hey. Nick. Sis. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm back. Ow. <laughs> we were like, oh my god, that was a fucking epic. Oh my god. Do you see that shit? That was awesome. <laughs> now then, oh my god. I think my balls went up inside me there for a moment. I assume you are. The real Iris. Yes, I was just rescued from the sacred cavern. I must say, you and your twin are indeed identical from what I can see. In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Just gotta what happened to Dolly Hawthorne. 
if you ask me, Your Honor. It looks like she went back to the hell, the hell she came from. <laughs> yes! Back to Brad in the deepest bowels of demon hell. Ah. Seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only one of this vi victim of this crime. My Fay, as well as young Pearl Fay, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plant. Yes, Your Honor! Tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. It would be best for everyone if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. <laughs> Please, stop! Bring it. Don't bring her back! Um, Your Honor? Yes, what is it? About this whole spirit medium thing. It's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the concept now. Well, I mean, fuck! I mean, how can I not bring Did you see that shit? That was like, fucking <laughs> James Cameron special effects shit or something. That was awesome! <laughs> well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticized me for not staying hard enough. <laughs> That's why I made a concerted effort to study up with the Quran channeling technique. Hey, isn't it the New Year's issue of occult? <laughs> oh, shit. I've seen him quite a few things in my many years on the bench. <laughs> and all that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different and takes place in its own little dual world, if you will. In order for people to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves on it, in it completely. And that's where... My brother and I used to differ. Oh, never thought of it that way. <laughs> At any rate, stop the draft jumping in this fucking case. A virus of the current temple. Objection. What? Ah uh ha, -ha. what the balls am I doing? Hmm, wait, hold on, I just want to spit my coffee out once. You're a little too fast with that gavel, your honor. What do you mean by that, Mr. Otto? We're fucking done, dude. We're done, son. Get out of here. This trial, it isn't over yet. That's what he means. What? Trite, remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony. Oh, Dolly's testimony. I caught up with her in the front of the stone lantern, and then I took out the dagger I got from the stone room, man. It's strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think, I think I was stabbed. Who cares by this point? Fuck it. <laughs> Miss Crazy Pants deserved it. <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was all her fault anyway. Just Stalia was about to attack Maya. She was stabbed and killed by someone. Yes, that's right. That person that was ultimately killed was a spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. At least Dunham, no, Misty Fay. But who killed her? She, we still don't know who did that, did it? This is an over. No way, Jose. Haha. -ha. Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. We can't let her walk until there is evidence that proves her innocence. N no way. But, this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. The prosecution is ready to call our final witness. Final witness? This is the one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed Misty Fay. Oh. Indeed! Oh, okay, what? Who the fuck would that be? Is it really alright, Mr. Prosecutor? Of course alright, Madam Attorney. Kidding. <laughs> hey, well then, who is this final witness? Ha! Isn't it obvious? There's only one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. Someone who saw the murder take place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her own eyes. You mean... Maya? Oh. You can't. She can't testify after what she's just been through. I don't care. We need to find the truth. The prosecution calls Maya Faye to the witness stand. Very well. First, we'll take a brief recess. We'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover before summoning her. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Hey, Trite, I've got something to say to you, so listen up. What is it? I don't think much of you as a lawyer. It's always the same with you. You somehow manage to just squeak by without even a feint of understanding the case. Some beautiful woman always seems to be come dashing in at the last minute to save you. You got some nerve! But that's not going to happen this time. This time, you're going to have to do this by yourself. That's enough! Of course, now recess. Shut up! <laughs> oh, February 10th, 256 p.m., District Court. Defendant lobby number... What? I'm truly sorry about everything. 
You were working so hard to defend me. So I guess you're not. I guess Iris isn't crazy. Oh, that's good. I wanted you not to be crazy. Yay. Give me a hug. Yay. <laughs> Everything's better now. I was missing all day and we didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places. And Iris was inside the Zager Cavern. So, okay, yeah, so the, he's only ever talked to her that one time then, right? Or, like, he saw her briefly in the inner cave, like, the first time, and then saw her at the, uh, Hosker Temple. I want to at least be the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole time. I still don't know how she would know, though, who Phoenix is, right? Cause she, but she says she does. It's like more important than, than that, though. I have to ask you. Why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you tried to get help at the Seer Cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister. I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by her mother and never got any love from our father, either. Yes, but it was the same for you, too, wasn't it? Yes, but at least I had Sister Bikini. It was like a mother to me. If only Dolly had come with me to Husker Temple. Maybe she would have been less of a fucking demon lord. I always, I always loved her. Dolly was always so smart, so strong. She never complained about a thing. Except why she couldn't murder enough bitches. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why I promised her that I would help her. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes. I, I wanted to help you be useful to her in some way. But, as usual, I was too cowardly. At the last minute, I ran away because of that. Dolly's half-sister, Valerie, ended up... That was the case that, wanted, that wounded Mia so badly. Ow. <laughs> I also died. It was not... It did not feel good. But things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspect that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people, you must mean. Yes, two defense lawyers. Me and Faye. And Diego Armando. Hey, that's me. To poisoning Mr. Armando, who was getting too close to the learning the truth. Dolly even tried to kill the person who had knowingly hit the poison for her. You. That's right. Is that how she knew him, then? Iris, there's one more thing I have to ask you. Yes, what is it? On the night of the murder. The person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim. At least Doonam. Was it... Was it really you? Yes. It was me. That night, after I rang the lights out bell, I went back to my room. At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. Bitch, go pick up my dead body! <laughs> Is it proud and come to the Inner Temple right away? <laughs> I... I got on the snowmobile and headed for the Inner Temple. But... The bath inner temple was cut off, right? Exactly. Be you can't just leave the body here. <laughs> Incoming package for you! Uh, what? I'm sorry. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do as you, do as you said. <laughs> I really don't think this is gonna work. Oh my god, she's doing it! It seems like when you look at the picture, the way it worked was, it was like... The rope was too short, but when she was released from the rope, like, it was like, like, the body swung down and then somehow released from the rope, like, magically and flew off into the air. It would also explain how she fell a certain amount of distance, but, like, to actually get a knot that would, that would release at just the right time, that's just like, again, it's like, how is that possible? <laughs> it's me, I was the one that received her body. The murder weapon had been... That had been left in her body so she wouldn't be bleed too much. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I'm glad they explained that. Because I was, was kind of like, how did she carry the, the the staff with her? Oh, okay. So that was that was the murder weapon. The staff that Mr. Felicia always held. I knew it. The actual murder weapon was the staff. Yes, that's right. I brought the body back to Hasakura Temple on the snowmobile. So then, wait, what, then what's the little dagger with the blood on it, then? That's just ketchup. But why? Why did you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was the murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead to back to Missy Faye. Actually, although you, when you think about it, uh, how did she? 
<laughs> if you really think about it, then how did she transport the bottom half of the uh, of the staff? You know, the sheath. <laughs> I mean, the sword was stuck in her. But what you do, like, sort of, did the sword go through her and then they stick the sheath on the end that's sticking out and it sort of like sort of dangles there? <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, well, I guess you maybe like sort of jam it in her pocket or something. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess he wrapped it tight, and she'll wrap her around the rope. I guess she could wrap the, the sheath with it, too, but... <laughs> I don't... Stop! Stop asking questions, Nico, you dumb fuck! You're just gonna get shit in the comments about it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I guess I shouldn't complain about anything in any of these games. I didn't want, I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Missy Fay. So I dressed her in a robe and stabbed her with a sh sheet of... I wiped the blood, the blood off the staff's plate and left it next to her on the ground. Iris! Just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called yourself out. The real killer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say who did- Oh, what? No! Oh, oh. Wait. I, I, I guess it, it couldn't have been her then, could it? I, I, I just kind of realized from based on Dolly's story. I, I was doing Dolly's voice. I assumed it was her for some reason, but it- So that means there's a whole other person? I, who? Pearl, did you kill somebody? Uh, yes, I'm really the fucking killer. I'm really an evil demon lord. <laughs> Damn it. Is anyone not an evil demon lord in this game? I see. Son of a bitch. Ah, defendant. Hey, how's it going? I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Actually, I don't care. Get in the record room. Yes? The judge is calling you. He wants to see you in his chambers for some sexy time. I'm going to be there, too. We're both going to be naked. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Too bad! <laughs> He's the law, so you have to do everything he says. And I'm his law assistant. <laughs> he has some questions about Dahlia Outdoor. Alright. Well then, I'll see you later. There's something I want to tell you later. I fucking love you. I want to make babies with you. Oh my god, yes. May this relationship work out a little better than the last time. Oh, um, okay. Think she wants to tell me? Babies. Making babies. Oh, it's true. I was cooperating with a real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. Ah! <laughs> God, I really have to put my hand up here to prevent my boobs from popping out. <laughs> I really need to get pearls to stretch your clothes. Mia! Um, how's my doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely. But emotionally, she's been very, very badly by this case. I see. You don't mean... She learned who Lee's doing him really was. Yes, I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. Why? Maya is stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure that answer out by yourself. The trial is about to restart. The real killer. Do you know who it is yet? Ours wouldn't tell me who called her, but still. What? Who the fuck could it be? I'm serious, who the fuck could the killer be by this point? It was not Dahlia, yeah, it's not our I think we've we've already gone through the list of characters. I'm sorry, is the sister Bikini? Is that the only one left? I'm pretty sure it's the only person that could be. It was me, little Bolly! Or maybe it was Larry. Maybe I bet Larry fucking did it. We finally throw him in jail where he belongs. Oh dude, what the hell? I'm just a comic relief character of Nico, please! No, you go to jail now, Larry. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be the best ending of this game that could be. <laughs> the true ending is we we pin all this on Larry and he gets thrown in the jail. And everybody's happy. D and he doesn't return in any more of the games. I think I just maybe I know it was. That night, the victim was killed in the garden of the inner temple. And the criminal wasn't there there just by accident. Which means the killer knew of Dolly's plan from the very beginning. And one more thing. The victim was moved to the Hoskar temple side by Pinchel. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means they were stuck on the inner temple side for almost an entire day. Exactly. So the criminal was someone that wasn't in Oscar Temple the following day. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of the battle is yours to win or lose. I got it. Thank you, Mia. Finally, it's almost time to bring this case to an end. So what exactly am I saying anyway? Who was it that actually killed Mr. A? Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me all by myself. All by myself to be continued. Will Nico be able to figure out the truth? Okay, I, th I thought this was going to be the last episode, but I guess not. 
There's still more to go. I'm, I'm gonna guess, okay, the next part probably seems like the last part then. The real last part. <laughs> I know, I know I was building this up. It's like, oh, this is it, the moment of truth and justice, but, oh, no, no, there's still one more. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, okay, well, I'm gonna hear for now, guys. I'm pumped. I, I can't wait to see what the fuck happens. It's gonna be the end. It'll be the end of the fucking trilogy, uh, you know, until the series gets rebooted or and not counting the uh, spinoffs like uh, Edgeworth Investigations and uh, Apollo Justice or whatever, but uh, yes, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed, subscribe now, become Biggie Big One aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny, the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.